it's time to learn how to post your ad to Adplotter. To post your ad, you will be using listing credits. To see how many listing credits you have used and how many you have left, you will look at the top of your listing manager. As you can see, I have zero used listings and 10 available to me. We'll learn more about these in just a moment. I saved my yacht listing from the previous video as a draft. As you can see, it appears in my listing manager under drafts. To open it, simply click on the title. This will return us to the same place we were at when we created the draft. Once you are satisfied with your ad, click on the green Post to Ad Plotter button on the bottom right. Adplotter is now pulling up some of the sites you can post your ad to. As you can see, this list of sites is grouped into what we call blocks. A block consists of 25 classified sites, and behind each block are over 500 independent sites that aren't shown here, but will be displayed to you later. Each block you choose uses one of the listing credits we talked about earlier. I will use two blocks for this posting, which will use up two of my ten remaining listing credits. The number of listing credits you have is determined by the level of your account. If you are running low on credits, you can always upgrade to a package that has more listing credits, or you can purchase more by clicking on the Add More link at the top of the listing manager. Now keep in mind that each month, Adplotter will add additional blocks as we increase the number of sites that Adplotter can post to. This is why it's a good idea to be an upgraded member. The more listing credits you have, the more blocks you can choose at a time. Now that I have chosen the two blocks, I'm going to click the Continue button. Alright, check this out. Adplotter has all the sites listed that were part of the blocks you chose previously. As you can see, Adplotter has automatically selected categories for your ad to go to on each of these sites. Now some of these websites do not have a specific category that relates to the item you are selling. In these cases, Adplotter selects general categories. However, you can always select a different category for any site right from this page. Take a moment to realize the time that Adplotter is saving you right now. Rather than visiting each of these sites individually and customizing your ad for each site, Adplotter is allowing you to do it all right from here. It's amazing and it's only going to get better as Adplotter grows. Now that I've viewed the categories and I'm satisfied with them, I'm going to click Save Categories and Continue. You will now review the listing details. We filled out some of these already in earlier steps, so some areas should be filled in for you. Make sure all the information is correct before you post your ad. First, review your name and phone number. We recommend choosing the option to keep your phone private. Now select an email that people can use to contact you. Now review your ad details. All the required fields must be filled out before we can move on. As Adplotter grows, some of these fields may change or some new fields may be added, so you may not be seeing the same exact options that you see in this video. Just make sure you fill out the required fields before you move on and you shouldn't have any trouble. For the city and state of this yacht, I will choose Miami, Florida, since that seems to be a good place to sell a yacht. Next, I'll enter in a postal code. You can see here the pictures that we uploaded earlier. And then here, you have the option to put premium upgrades on your listing. I'll explain premium upgrades in the next video, so for now we will skip these and I'll hit continue. Now you are looking at your final ad details. This is the last time you can make a change before giving Adplotter the OK to post your ad. So everything looks great to me, so I am now going to complete this process by clicking the Post Listing button. Adplotter is now delivering your ad to their servers so it can be queued to post to the sites. This is where you can really appreciate the time Adplotter has saved you. Imagine having to visit each site register an account, customize your listing, and repost your ad over and over again. Time is money and I just saved a lot of it. You can see that my ad has been queued to post to the sites that are showing here, and the exciting part is I never had to visit any of these sites. I did it all here at Adplotter. More exciting is the fact that each month Adplotter's team of developers are adding more and more sites that my ads can be automatically posted to just like this. Now one quick thing before I conclude this video, Adplotter is such a great service and they rely on referrals from people like you and me to invite people to use it. When you share Adplotter with people, like I'm doing right now, in this case I'm using Facebook, Adplotter rewards you with free listing credits and other great incentives, so make sure to spread the word.